Morgan and his students used this relationship between the distance separating two genes and the chances of a crossover splitting them apart to figure out where on the chromosome these genes are located. First, through crossbreeding experiments, they discovered a number of genes that were linked together in a series of pairs. They were therefore all on the same chromosome. Then, through further matings, they tested each linkage for its tendency to break, which told them how likely it was for a crossover point to fall between the two genes. From these numbers, they were able to work out the relative distance between each pair of genes. Through a simple puzzle-solving exercise, Morgan and his students were then able to line these genes up in their proper sequence and distance from each other. They had created the first gene map of a chromosome. Eventually, Morgan and his students mapped out four groups of linked genes, one for each of the fruit flies' four different chromosome pairs. But with the exception of the X chromosome, they were unable to identify which group of genes belonged to which chromosome. That changed with the discovery of giant chromosomes within the saliva-producing glands of young fruit flies. When stained, each displays a distinctive pattern of bands, which allowed scientists to match each chromosome with its corresponding gene map. In 1933, Morgan became the first geneticist to win a Nobel Prize.